Bang the duel. The duel, the bang. <laughs> Let's start with bang. Do you like bang? Uh, Not this like... game, the bang, the, the actual card game. I've never played the card game. Okay. Have you played the dice game? I have. I own the dice game, and I really, really enjoy the dice game. How do you feel about Bang the Duel? How do I feel about Bang the Duel? Uh, I mean, my first impressions are that is that Bang the Duel doesn't f feel like it's a duel. <laughs> it feels like it's more of a tag team game to me. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I feel about it uh, right now. It, my feelings are still a little raw. I wonder. I wonder how it play if you because in this game you're, you're going to see it in the flow, but you can have two characters out, so it's really two on two. I wonder how it feel just to put all the play like four of them out at the same time, and you can choose who you hit. Oh man! So you have three rear characters, maybe, or just there's I'd no be, rear character, but no. just hitting everybody at the same time. Like that'd be too tough because if you have a character whose ability always activates at the end. Yeah. Or always activates even if his rear character is too strong. I think the the whole idea of the duel is that there's always two people fighting each other, per se. But there's not. Well, I no. guess. And eh, like... Kind of. See, that's where it gets confusing. Yeah. They should just call it Bang the Car... <laughs> I guess you can't call it Bang the Car Game. Bang, bang the non the not social deduction game. <laughs> bang the tag team wrestling game. Where there you just is. tag in the other guy and you go. Yeah. Um... It's a take that game, which isn't mm -hmm. necessarily my favorite. It's an okay little two player game. You don't see a lot of take that games for two players that works. I think this probably does work. Mm -hmm. um, you have the other two characters sitting out there. It is possible that you get the right combination of cards and the other person. I had you down. I had you. Yes, you did. I had you beat. We're not going to say who won, um, but there was a comeback. Um, what the final conclusion was may be undetermined. But it, it did feel like having the right combination of cards sometimes, or if you spent a lot of cards and did really well, but you came up one shy, then you're kind of in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get the the missed cards and somebody just shooting you, there isn't a whole lot to do. Right. Because you can only play one Bane card, that's the only way you can shoot. But there are a lot of cards that aren't Bane cards that cause damage. Yeah. It's a luck fast. I mean, it's there's a lot of, very little planning. You don't know what you're going to draw. Mm -hmm. um, is it for you? Do you like this? Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to take a pass on this one. You gonna take a pass? Yeah, I'm gonna take a so pass. So purge. It's gonna be a purge for me. It's keep or purge, man. Those are your only options. Yeah, I mean purge is it. Purge is it. I I I wished it was something different about it. Something but it is more. bang for two players. It really is. It is. This is bang. Except the normal bang is a social deduction game. This one is not that at all. It's almost like they're just putting the bang IP over a a uh, two player card game. And so, does it feel like Bang? Besides the uh, the Italian and English together in the, on yeah. the same card, it it feels like it's in that universe. Yes, but I mean, I don't. It doesn't feel like Bang I'm does a have some game. It does have some social social deduction, but right. it's fairly transparent social deduction. Is it that transparent? I don't, I don't think I don't so. Know. If I see somebody going after the sheriff, I mean, I might have a choice between the right. renegade and the outlaw. But right. if you're the deputies, you don't care. No, but that's what makes it interesting is, you know, if you're, if, uh, we're, now we're talking about Bang, the card game. Right. I mean, if you're the outlaw or the deputy, you just shoot everybody else but the sheriff. It's when the outlaws are revealed or when they kind of know who's Fair who. Enough. But anyway, that's just, that's a different game. That's not this. I wonder why they went with parodies and all the names, too. Like, I'm not sure Wyatt Earp is something you can't use. They went with Wyatt Earp, Ear. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to go with like a weird spaghetti, the spaghetti western. You're trying to be funny? Yeah, yeah. Like satirical it almost. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah. It, was white ear funny to you? No. It was like, really? A P? <laughs> I know. A P? You couldn't they put a P? Ink. Or the, the Lone Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird. I don't like that. Yeah. Maybe it's an Italian thing. I don't get it. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to purchase one too. I do like little two-player games. I've heard really good things about this game. Mm -hmm. it, 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 to me, it is bang in the box. This is bang without the social deduction. Uh, but there were some things where, like, you do have some choices, like the the who the active character is and how that's going to work out for you. But then the other guy can just move it for you yeah. with some cards that came up. Um, right. There was a lot of stealing the equipment cards. Once you had them, you could steal them. So you mm -hmm. almost like I had I had a. Um, 
the gun butt that lets you play lots of bangs. That's a very powerful card. It was, but I didn't have any bang cards. <laughs> so it was completely useless, but you didn't want to get rid of it because it is pretty powerful. Yeah. Uh, and then you could have a whole bunch of bang cards that you could play with that gun belt, and the guy, the guy just happens to have a lot of hats that can do the misses. So mm -hmm. it was randomized to me, not a lot of strategy, not something I'm going to want to play a lot of. And take that's one of the worst type of games I can play. Mm -hmm. Four two player take that game, I do like it. So if you like that kind of thing, it, you know it is here. But I'm going to purge it also. There's really nothing else to add. Did you like the artwork in it, that kind of stuff? It's okay. Yeah, I'm not. You know. It's it's cartoony but not it's like it's like a comic book style, so it's enjoyable. Even though the art the best art is like on the box and in the rule book. I mean, a lot of the artwork on the cards is uh, looks a little cheapy. It looks almost uh, it's intentionally not. It's intentionally in the style that's that's strange. Look at this guy dodging from a bullet, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But look, it's a picture of a general, general store. store. Yeah, so. Here's the gun belt. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and a lot of the cards are the same for the most part. I mean, like, right. We brought the Gatling gun out. That was kind of cool. I like the Old West theme, but I'm going to say Purge on this one. I don't think I really need to play it too many more times. Yeah. Um, okay, game. For components, what you're going to start out with is everybody's going to have a deck of character cards. So and what's important is how much life they have and the power at the bottom. And this is for the sheriffs. A few of those. And then you have some for the outlaws. Kind of same thing. Except these guys look like dirt bags. Uh, except for her. Cattle Kenny. Katie, she looks great. And there's Kevin Costner. And then you're going to have, each side is going to have a deck of cards they'll be playing off of, which three types of cards. You have the brown, which are action cards. Here's a miss. And you're going to have red, which is a bang. This is going to be the symbol you'll be looking for. Um, and some of these will have powers. And then you'll have these equipment cards, which are blue. You can play on people. And they might, you have a whole deck of these that will be shuffled up. And they're going to do different things, and you'll see that as we play. You're going to have these bullets, which are nice cardboard. These are going to represent life points in the game. And then each side is going to have one of these stand-ups, which will represent who's the active player on your team. And then here's the sheriff one. And these are real thick cardboard, as you can see, real nice. And they'll do the trick. And that's going to be all the components. The cards are really nice. They shuffle well. They're what you expect if you played any of the other uh, Bang games. Same kind of quality. And they're nice cards. And they're rounded. And they have white on the edges, which is good. So those are the components of Bang the Duel. The rules come in full color. You do have a picture of all the components. You do have a picture of the game set up. And you do have an explanation of every card in the game, in the bag. Uh, the rules were pretty simple to go through. It's really easy to draw cards, play cards. And there's a limitation on the Bang cards you can play. And the where you can place the blue cards. But it's fairly simple. Um, there was an extra rule with reload that kind of shows up once you only have one character left. You can start discarding to get more cards, which is nice. I think it was just to speed the game up at the end. I I didn't have any problems with the rule book. I don't think when we played we had any problems, right? No, just the only thing that was a little confusing was where to place the blue card. But after that, I mean, yeah, else it has makes to sense. be in the rear or your active guy. Right. That's interesting. So it's so, good. Rule book is good. I think I think a non gamer or somebody just kind of iffy on games could pick this up and play it. Just you said ignore the back of it. Just you know, refer to it when you need the cards. Sometimes I almost like that in a different pamphlet. Mm -hmm. So, because it makes the rule book look more daunting than it is. So, just if you would put the um, all the little powers and stuff yeah. on a separate thing or a separate book, would have been nice. Yeah, because this is like a whole. About half is, the book. Oh man, that's like five pages. And, but it just makes it look more daunting than it is, yeah. and really, it's just a reference sheet. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're, as we play the game, we're going to show you the setup. You have a uh, set of these dual cards. You're going to use four. These are going to be character cards. You're going to use four, in which we have set up two for each side. Then we have two that are kind of in the reserve that won't be used unless one of your characters gets eliminated. So these are going to be off to the side here. You're going to set up with a number of bullets equal to 
that number. So each character will have a number of that. And then we will have these. We're going to lay them flat. Uh, they usually stand up, but they will designate who the active character is. And then each of us will then have a unique deck of cards, which the sheriff will draw four and the outlaw will draw five. And for ease of play, we're just going to play cards down in the center to show you. Then they'll be discarded or set aside the equipment card. So we'll kind of, what we'll do is we'll play each card and then we'll explain what that card does. Um, so the round is pretty easy. You're going to draw two cards. Then you can play as many cards as you want, except for only one red Bane card can be played unless you have a card that uh, extrapolates extra plays of that. And then you have to discard down to how much life you have left. So in this case, five cards for him and five for me. Uh, Jason's going to be the outlaws and Pedro's going to be the sheriff side. So the first thing he's going to do is Pedro's going to draw two cards. This is my hand. I start out with four. I'm drawing two cards. All right. So it begins. All right. This is considered my. This one's considered my active player. Why don't we see what the powers are really quickly? Yeah, I have <laughs> the Lone Ranger as my active player. Each time my opponent plays a bang card on me, and I lose a life point, I draw a card. So that's how I get cards back into my hand. I have Wyatt Ear <laughs> for my rear character, and his ability is that each time my opponent plays a miss card when I hit him with a bang card, I get to draw one card from my deck. And I've got deck. Bull Anderson. When a character is eliminated, I draw up to two cards from his equipment and or his owner's hand. And I have the Sundance Kid. What's once during your turn, we discard one card from your hand to draw two. Now, what's unique about the Sundance Kid here is he has this little arrow symbol right here, which means normally whoever's in the rear, their power is not activated. If you have the symbol, which he does, I can activate his power even though he's in the rear. So he's a good character to have in the rear at all times. So if you're going to take one in the rear, Sundance Kid's a good one to allow to take in the rear. Okay, so you drew your two cards, and you get to play. All right. Uh, the first card I'm going to play is the General Store, which is uh, this right here. Let me see if I can bring it up close to the camera. Boop, boop. I'll bring it up closer. So that way you guys can read what it says. Not the Italian part, that's all the top and stop. It says display two cards from each deck and then players alternate drawing them, starting with me. So we need to discard Paul, place two out. And why don't you start by explaining your two cards? Okay, so I have a Derringer here, which is a bang card, but it's not a typical red. It's not a typical bang card because it's brown. And the reason why is because my opponent can play any card from his hand to not get shot with this gun. This one is my uh, Cantina or my Water, and I can swap any active player with his rear character. I drew a Wagon, which allows you to th draw three cards, keep two, and a Duel. The opponent may discard a hit symbol. Then you, etc., and the AC of the first who falls is one point. So we'll just continue to draw or play hit cards until somebody can't play one and that person will lose a hit point. So I believe you get first selection. So I get first selection. I always like having cards in my hand. That's so helpful. I'm going to take this cargo card, or this carro. <laughs> I think is how you say it. I don't think I'm going to take the dual card. I think I'm going to do this because I. it's going to be handy to be able to be the first player to play this. And I'm going to take this water Card. And a Derringer, even though it's a hit card, its real purpose is going to be to make your opponent discard a card. So I'll take, I mean, I have to take this last one. Okay. So this is uh, spent, so it goes away to my discard. And now. And keep in mind while he's looking for his card, he will have to discard down to five if he doesn't take any hits this round. So. Right. So the next card I'm going to play is the wagon, the one I just picked up, which okay. allows me to draw three cards from my deck. These three cards here, and I can keep two. And what are the two I'm gonna keep? Let's keep well, these cards here. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep these two. 
it's just the same cards I just played. Throw this water away. So uh, those stay in my hand, and guess what? I'm gonna play that again. I'm gonna take a risk of getting a lot of cards this turn. Yes, it is a lot of risk. So three more cards. I get to choose. Keep two. All right. I'm gonna keep. Probably gonna keep the uh, the derringer and the carbine here. Discard that. I wouldn't normally be telling Jason what my cards in my hand are. But. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'll put my discard this way, and I'll kind of put it up here so you guys don't get confused with other stuff. And now I'm going to play. I'm going to play this card that says Fanning. Let me see. I guess I can put it up here. And that says deal as many bang to a character as equipment as he has in play. But he doesn't have any equipment, but I'm going to play it anyway. So I would take zero damage. Right. Great job, Dallin Ranger. <laughs> Delon Ranger. The Long Ranger. Then I'm going to play this card here. Let me just play him down and read him. Okay. Uh, swap any active character with his rear character. So we're going to swap these two characters. So now the Sundance Kid is the active character. Um, for my... Uh, I guess technically I can play this card. It's not a red Correct. card. So I'm going to play this Derringer. And the Derringer, remember, Jason can defend it with any card from his hand. He just has to spend it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Stealing, which will go in my discard pile. And I'll go in yours. Alright, and I'm going to play this card, but there are no cards to play, so I'm just going to discard it. Okay. And that's my turn. And now I have to discard down to five. Which I have five cards. Okay, so my I turn. I will draw two cards. And I will play a Remington. <laughs> a hit to you if you use a hat to, which is the uh, miss symbol, draw one card from the deck. Okay. So you're going to take so the life? I'm going to take the hit. All right. That's what I need to see. But because my Lone Ranger has the ability uh, to draw a card every time you sit, I get to draw one card. Okay. The opponent may discard a hit card, then you, etc. So this is the duel. The AC of the first who fails loses a life point. So you have to do a hit card now. Okay. Uh, we'll do that symbol. So you're going to do Boom, that. Hit. Put that in your discard pile. Mm -hmm. I will then play a hit. Okay. So that will go in my discard pile. I'll also play a hit. Right here we go, boom, Colt, Colt boom, five. carbine, boom, carbine back at you, buddy. All right, we are burning <laughs> our deck right now. I have nothing left. So you lose a point or a hit point. There's another Delon. hit point. Now you always have to shoot the active character unless you have a card that allows you to hit the rear. Just FYI. And I get to draw one more card because of my ability. Okay. And then I will do a Derringer and hit you again, which you can use any card you want to block it. Okay. I'm actually going to take the hit. Okay, I like that. I get to draw another card. Let's get the Lawn Ranger out of here. Okay, for each character, except my active character... They have to discard a hit symbol or lose a life point. So you have to, that's for each of your guys. So I don't have a hit symbol, so I, Sundance Kent, I will actually get shot by the Indians. Are both of your guys getting shot by the Indian? Yes. Now you only draw one card. Yes. Okay. And then I, oh, that's your power. So I am out of things to do. So I will discard. I only have one card left. So I have. Three I can hold, and I'll pass it over to your turn. First right. I do is draw two cards. I'm going to draw my two cards here into my hand. Ooh, okay. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to play this Gatling gun. 
It says bang to all characters except your active character. Oh wow. And I will do a miss. For what which one? For my active character, so then okay. he will lose a hit point. Okay. It's a good card. Good card. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> That's the sound it makes. And that was a brown card, so he still has a red card. I'm out of cards, which Pedro knows. Right. So now I'm going to uh, shoot. Okay. Which Spang. I can't do anything about, so mm -hmm. I will lose Sundance Kid. Okay. That's it for that. I'm also going to... And that's the danger of playing too many cards in your hand, but you're kind of stuck playing with what you have, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's play the duel. <laughs> well, let's take another hit. Boom! <laughs> All right. And uh, that's all I can do. I'm going to switch active characters. So now White Ear will be my active. So I can only hold two. Currently, I have five cards in my hand. So I'm going to discard down two. And I'm going to do my turn while you're doing that. I will draw two cards. Uh, we'll do discard those three here. Now, on your turn, you can switch active character one time. So it makes sense for me to go ahead and do that. Now, can you do it whenever? Yeah, you can do it any time okay. during the turn, but just one time. Um, so I'm going to do that. Now I can still utilize this power, but I don't think I'm going to write this second. So I'm going to play this, which is a knife, and it's an action card, so it's one hit. So you can block it if you choose. I do choose to block it. Okay. And then, so I have a choice. I can either play this card, or because of my power, I could discard it and draw two. I'm going to take a risk... And I'm going to play it. It's also an equipment card. It's not a red border, so I can play it twice and try to hit you. You got me. And I got White Air with a knife. First one he blocked, <laughs> but he didn't realize I had another one. You had two knives. I had two knives. <laughs> the old lefty there. I'm out of cards. I would have to discount down to four, so it would become your turn. All right. So I'm drawing two cards. And with these two cards, uh, they're good cards. But what I'm going to do is... Wired Ears is going to uh, use the Winchester, but this Winchester can target opponent's rear character, so that's why I'm shooting. I'm shooting the sun okay. Sound Dance Kid. Bang! And when someone is eliminated, let's go through this. Uh, I would remove this character from play. The Sun Dance Kid is now dead. You would discard all equipment played with him. The owner gets to uh, pit draw two cards. And I draw the top card from my reserve. There's two uh, character cards you have in reserve, so we'll put this guy in. Um, this does not move, so if this had been on him, it would have stayed there, but it's going to stay on Bull Anderson. And then if you can give me enough bullets, please, four. And you continue to play to all of your characters eliminated. If you only have one character left, then you just play with the one character. But I have two now. And this covers power. You play cards on any character in play. So normally when you're playing uh, a blue card, you can play on your active or your opponent's rear. With this guy, if he's active, I can play on anybody. All, All right. right. Your turn, sir. So uh, for my last move, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna hide Wired Ear behind a barrel. Explain what that does. Now what the barrel does is this is an equipment card. And so each time... Wide ear or wide error is the target of a bang. I can reveal a barrel from my uh, deck here, which means flipping over this card. And on the top right, there's going to be a symbol, kind of like there's a horseshoe. There's like a horseshoe on this one. I don't know if you even saw that. There's like a horseshoe on this one. Let me see if I can pull up one that makes sense. Ah, so something like that. So that barrel sy symbol. If I can. Uh, and the book tells you that they're, they give you the percentage. Sometimes they'll say these icons. With right. a barrel, you have a 25% chance of turning it over. One out of every four cards. So that's how I, that's how I can uh, avoid getting shot. <laughs> so he's going to hide behind the barrel. Anything else you're doing, sir? And that's it. My card is uh, my last card. So. And Wyatt Ear is going to be your active player. Yes, okay. which is why he is my active player. And on my turn, I draw two cards. And 
And I'm going to play this on Bull Anderson. Each time he moves his AC, his active character, I get to draw a card. And then I'm going to knife Wyatt Earp. No, you're nice. I'm going to try, try and knife him again. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, the barrel's protection. So I need a barrel to uh, avoid being stabbed. No! And that card is discarded. And he's done. Okay, so he's going to remove the character. All the equipment cards are removed. Okay. He's going to draw two cards into his hand. And his ne his re and take the top card from his reserve. Which is this one. And he'll put a number of bullets out. Bill Tightman. And his ability is that each time a character is eliminated, I get to draw two cards. So I want people to die quickly. Wait, but my character, Bull Anderson, who's the active player, when a character is eliminated, I can draw up to two cards from his equipment and or his owner's hand. So I'm going to draw the one equipment card that he was able to discard, this barrel. I'm going to draw it, which means it goes into my hand, and I get to draw one from his hand. Oh, before, before I got my two? From the deck? Yeah, when he's eliminated. So, the other card you have. It says, and or. So, I can do both. Okay, so you're eliminated. Is it still my turn? It is now your turn. Okay, I'm going to put the barrel on the side of old Bull Anderson here. And I'm going to hold off doing anything. Okay. And now it's your turn. All right, so I draw two here. All righty, let's see here. Um, I'm going to play Fanning. Boom. Right here. So that means I deal as many bangs to a character as equipment he has in play. So two. So two. I'm going to block one. And I'll take one point of damage. It's a good sound effect. I like that. I did. I study my uh, my my sounds. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. wait, I was I have one barrel. So let me. Let oh, me... you should have flipped one over before this one it gets played. Okay. It blocked. <laughs> and... So you don't lose a life, if unless you don't. Want yeah, then that I'll play card. that, so I don't lose a life. All right. So there we go. All right. And uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. So, I have three cards left. Right now, my active player has five bullets. And I'm drawing two cards. And then I can play this on him, which is a snake. Which means I can play on his reserve. Has to either be on my guy or his reserve. At the start of your turn, he has to reveal the snake from the top of the deck, or he loses a life point. So I might be able to kill the Lawn Ranger pretty soon. And then I'm going to play this Bane card. It's a red war. I can only play one. And try to hit Bill Tightman if I can. Okay. I'm going to return fire. Oh! Which says opponent's active character is the target of of that Bane. Okay. So then I'm going to... I have nothing... Oh, I get to draw a barrel card. Yes. Which I don't. It's a horseshoe. So I will lose one damage. Still my turn, right? Yeah. And that, this was a Han. This is they should call this Han shot first. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. I'm out. Things to do, so I'll let you go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna draw two cards. Here we go. And I'm going to. Oh man. This guy's deadly. Oh, first of all. Before you draw. Before I draw, which is what these two cards were, I need to resolve this snake here. This is a horseshoe, so. The Lone Ranger just died. The Lone Ranger just died. Which I get your equipment mm -hmm. and one from your hand. Is it my choice or is it random? Okay, just terminate it. Draw up to two guards in the equipment and or his owner's hand. So I, well, let's just say you get to pick. It doesn't say. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you this one. Alrighty. My character says each time another character is eliminated, draw two cards from the deck, which is what I'll do. Then I'll draw two more cards from the deck because my character just died. I'll replace my character here with Bart Masterson. And his ability says each time anyone reveals 
two cards are revealed, and I choose the result. So, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. He's not caught off guard by uh, <laughs> crazy things. And he has a symbol where he can use his power even when he's in reserve. Yeah. All right. So, it is still my turn. Technically, the beginning of my turn. So, I got two for his ability, two because he died, and two because it's the beginning of my turn. <laughs> wow. So, let's see if we can make some magic happen. Um, I think I'm going to try and shoot you. You try to bang me? <laughs> With this peacemaker. Okay, I get to draw two. And you get to pick which one. Obviously, you're going to pick the snake, right? Yes. Okay, so I will lose. Okay. So that was my one bang for the... You banged Bull Anderson. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to play Stampede. <laughs> What's that do? I'm going to play it here. Which means, at the start of your turn, your AC becomes... I think you can only play it on your active character, or... That's what I meant. The opposite, on him. okay. Mm -hmm. So that means, each at the start of my turn, this switches. Okay. So, that should keep, keep me on my toes. Actually, you know what? I can play it on your non-active character. Yep. I'll do that. Okay. Screw with my head. And that'll be it. I have five cards left. Okay. I will draw two. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play the snake on you. The rattlesnake. This is the start of your turn, so that changes. That's a return AC. Okay. I'm assuming that counts as my one move, right? No. I think this is... I mean, I can't move it again, I don't think. That would be pointless of the card, right? Okay, so I'm going to play this, which I can swap any AC with his RC. And I will sh show field you with a hit. Can you block it? What happens if I block it? Uh, I regain one life point. Then I do. But I'm at my maximum life point, so it doesn't matter. Your turn. Alrighty. I'm going to draw two. My deck's about to run out. Um, okay. Uh, so Bart Masterson's going to uh, give Jack some strong ale. What this does, I can choose an active character or my rear character, and he goes to three life points. So since you're the active character, you go down to three. Oh. oh. Then, for my next move, I'm going to draw one card. Oh, shoot, I did it again. I forgot to draw for this. Let's just use these two. None of them. So he uses up a life. Uh, I'm going to take this card here, the school marm, and I could draw one card from play. So I'll do that. Now I'm going to play this serpent. <laughs> or the battle snake. Mr. Bull Anderson. Since he's the rear character there. Oh, wow. And, uh... Did I bang already? Did I shoot you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I already shot you today. Er, no, no, I haven't shot you no. today. I'm going to shoot you with this. That's a brown card. You can use it anyway. Yes. I can play any card from my hand? Yep, to block it. That oh, my was gun belt. That was, the trick. that was the trick shot. Now comes this one. I'll block it. Okay. If you block it, I can swap any RC. So I'm going to do this. So it's kind of like a tag team. And then that's it. That's all I'm going to do. You I always like to tag team left. the bang. <laughs> so I have to draw two cards for the rattlesnake, and you get to choose. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming you're going to choose the yes. horseshoe. Horseshoe. So I lose a life. 
Oh, at the start of my turn, this is supposed to go here. Mm -hmm. And you moved your AC, so I was supposed to draw a card. And I get to draw yeah. two cards. Uh, this aqua allows me to shift this. And I will shoot Bart Masterson in the face with my show field. <laughs> and shoot him in the face, you will. And if you do that, I regain a life point. Oh, no, you didn't play a thing, no. so I don't regain a life point. All right, Bull Anderson's at his deathbed here. All right. We're going to do this. Swap. Okay. Forgot to draw my two cards, but that's it. That's my two cards. Um, I'm going to play the hat and the bank. So the hat says I can discard this card from play for a miss. And the bank says I can draw an additional card during my draw phase. Finished? I am done. I have one card left. Okay. I'm drawing two. I'm going to play the hat. Oh, I got to... Wait, shoot. These are two I play... Wait, no, these, these are two I drew yeah. for the snake, so... Yeah, it misses. He dies. Poor guy. So, you can take two of these or two from my hand. I will take, take bull out of here. These two. Okay. And can you give me uh, three bullets, please? And Pearl Hat comes in. She only gets three bullets, but once during your turn, you may discard one card from your hand to replicate the action card on top of the discard pile. Oh, okay. She's pretty weak, though. Hmm. I'm going to draw two cards. So, I am going to put, I have to put this on him, which is dynamite. So you have to reveal dynamite signal, a symbol, which is only 12.5% of being in the deck, or lose three life points on your turn. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to play this general deck. We both discard two, or show two. I don't have any more cards. So that means we take both discard piles from both sets, and we're going to shuffle them together to make a common deck that we will. I'll continue to draw from my deck because Pedro's out. He will draw from this common deck. And then when my cards are out, I will then begin to draw from this common deck. So we will have access to each other's cards and we'll keep shuffling this maybe two more times. Is that sufficient for you, sir? Sure. Except I don't know what you're doing right there. Just I was trying not to drop the cards. <laughs> okay. So now we have a common deck. Okay. But you have to put two cards out. Let's go in my discard pile now. And I will take the Remington. I will take the Derringer. The Derringer. I'll take a dual card. And you can have the mess. I have to have the miss. Okay. I will then... Take the Remington. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and take the shot. I like the way you think, sir. Boom. And then I will play... Oh, this was supposed to move. I'm sorry. So he's the one who played it. Yeah. Then we'll play this on him, which is the gun belt, which allows me to play another bang. So, Colt. Okay. Gonna get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll put this on the combo okay. discard here. And then I can discard a card with her turn to replicate the action card on top of the discard pile, which is... So we have two discard piles. Or is this still considered my discard pile on my side? I think it's still considered yours. Okay, let's do that then. So I'm going to shoot you again with the Colt 45. Colt 45. Well, I'm going to dodge that. Okay. Choo! 
Man. Oh, wait. Take it back. I can't do that because I forgot what was this character that I'm using. Okay. Never so, mind. um, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to pass. Okay. So, it was my go. I'm going to get two from here. Nope. You have to do the dynamite first. Never mind. Dynamite, and he dies. <laughs> See you, Burt Masterson. So, you take care of your guy. All right. So, he dies, so I get two. He's dead. So he get I get two more. Okay. So I'm going to show a new rule that will occur now. So once somebody's down to one character, which he is, you can see this symbol here. This reload symbol right here. So now if you have this reload symbol, since there's only one character in play, you can discard this card. And you can draw a card. Okay. Instead of the normal effect. So it has to be played from your hand. Alright, so there's no active or inactive. It's just him. Well, you, you, I can even reload from cards that are in play with my active character. So, I could take this card away mm -hmm. and use it to reload. Alrighty. So, uh, now for my turn, I will actually draw two cards. But I draw one more because I have the bank. So pretty much I'm holed up in the bank right now. <laughs> hold up in the bank. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, I think I'm going to start shooting some folks. First I'm going to rattlesnake him. Can't. He's active. Sorry, he's active. I'm going to rattlesnake her. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide. I'm in the bank behind a barrel. Nice. Not only that. Uh, I'm going to play this clock, which means every time my opponent changes... Just play these down here, it's going to be in sorry. frame. Sorry, I totally wasn't paying attention. So every time, uh, this <laughs> clock says every time the AC changes, I draw a card. And I'm going to shoot you with the Derringer. Boom! From the bank, bang, bang! I can't do anything about it, so... So that because it's discarded, and then the Indians attack. <laughs> oh, gee! Each character except for me has uh, chooses to discard a bank card or loses one life point. Okay, so I will discard this card, but she'll have to take one of these. Okay, next thing is. Uh, the duel. No, well, I'm out of cards, so. <laughs> then I'm going to. And I, you said I could spend a. Uh, little thing here. Doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm going to shoot. Gonna bang me? Yeah. Bang. All right. So it kills this guy. So you can have these two. I assume you don't want the non-existent cards in my hand. What do I do with these? They go in your hand. Both of them, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... And I drew two cards. Right. Is it still in frame here? Put this here. Gun belt. Pick up the gun belt. I'm going to shoot her with this carbine. Or the shotgun. Which I can't do anything about, so I will take a hit. This gun belt lets me play as many bank cards as I want. I'm going to shoot her with the carbine. And you just killed Pearl Hat. A woman, Pedro! <laughs> this is how he treats women. Don't mess a man with his, uh... Don't mess a man with, and his money. with a man And that's money. Bang the Duel. The sheriff beat the outlaw. Oh. Pretty sure Pedro cheated. <whistles> Let us know in the comments. Wow, wow, wow. Who should buy this game? Who do you recommend this game for? Uh, who do I recommend this game for? You know what? It, it's not a bad game. It's just it wasn't a dual game. Uh, how I feel a dual game should be. So I think people who just like want to pass the time, just play a quick, uh, hey, let's just uh, literally a shoot 'em up game. This is a shoot 'em up game. Uh, there's really no strategy. So I think people who just want to pass the time, people who like Munchkin might like this game.
Yeah, if you and your wife or your spouse like to play little card games, but you like take that and you like uh, Munchkin type type right. games, I think that's fair. If you're a really big fan of Bang, but you want to be able to play at home without having six or seven people, mm -hmm. this could be a good solution for you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like take that, I think this is a good solution. I could see. I mean, I grew up with my cousin. He, he was relatively my age. We mm -hmm. would like a game like this. We would have played this a lot as little yeah. kids. Okay. And if you had a little brother, maybe ten to twelve, this would have been a really cool yeah. game to play. Not saying it's for kids, but no. just saying that like I think a couple of boys could sit down or girls could sit down and play. I won't say boys because I get in trouble for that. So <laughs> boys or girls could sit down and play this. But you just have a couple of people. Right. You just want to fiddle with something, mm -hmm. or don't want to do something too heavy. Maybe even play as a quick filler, because you can just pretty much stop yeah. at any point. It doesn't really matter. Right. Uh, or just play, like, two characters instead of four, make it even quicker. So if we're waiting on somebody to show up, maybe mm -hmm. fiddle with this. Uh, but there's a lot of games like that. So I don't know if this one's any special or any more special. I could see no. Brother and Sister. And it's not this. broken. It's not a broken game. It's just, you know, it's not my type of see, game. See, I would go the opposite. I, I would say it's broken on purpose. Uh, like, that's the whole point. Just that, like, you could be up and somebody else can just play, like... Ten cards and come back, or but that's not broken. Um, let's say it's not balanced. Okay, you can say that. <laughs> Once a card's got the common deck, and it's very possible that you could draw. I guess the percentages are the same, but you could draw a lot of cards. Right. You have the possibility of drawing. But that's why they threw in the the uh, the, the wagons, so that way you know you draft from four sure. cards and stuff. But you did, know, did you design this game? <laughs> I did not design okay. this game. This is a fairly good game, so, uh, but I think it's going to be hit a, a very particular person. Yes, for sure.